Uh, let's go to uh, Louis Gomert, who is, um, I would imagine, Louis, that you are as disappointed as I am to see the House reject the amendment to defund the NSA last night. Michelle, Michelle Bachman surprised the heck out of me by giving a impassioned speech on the floor saying, well, you know, uh, they're not actually saving any of your records. They're not saving any of your phone calls or your emails. That's an out and out lie, is it not, Louis? Well, my understand, you know, uh, Michelle is a very dear friend of mine, and, and I mine too. World of, and I, I was hearing you earlier this morning. You were mm-hmm. talking uh, very glowingly and appropriately about Michelle, but friends can disagree. And uh, no, they are retaining the the metadata, which is just a list of every phone number that everyone uh, calls in the United States, calling inside or outside the United States. And when I saw the uh, the leaked document uh, from the FISA court where a judge would actually order that every single call made to every person, uh, every phone outside the U.S. and inside the U.S., plan. you know, I've been a judge. I've been a chief justice. I couldn't believe that a judge would sign an order like that because there's this little problem with the Constitution. You have to specifically name a place, a person, what exactly is to be seized. And for a judge to just sign a sweeping order that said, I get everything from everybody. And we had a hearing last week, and we had some people from the government there. And I asked the question, you know, because they, they had the... Um, the defense, look, it's just data. We don't know whose phone number is whose. And all we run these algorithms and look for patterns. Glenn, when they have every phone number and every phone number that's called, as I ask these guys, well, isn't it true that the NSA and the other government, uh, whether it's CIA, you have the, the right and the ability to use sources that the public can use to gather information. There's nothing wrong with you doing that, right? Yes. That means you can go to the white pages for phone numbers, who who's has what phone number, and you can also do what anybody can do. You can go online, pay a fee, and find out everybody's cell number if you want to. I mean, that data is available. And they say, well, you know, I guess we could. Yes, Glenn, they can get everybody's phone number. They can have no who did what. And so if your government, let's, let's just say, there was somebody that was a little paranoid and and wanted to look at what they could do. Say they wanted to make a case against you after the fact of things that are completely untrue. Well, they can go back and say, well, you talked to this person. This, but yeah, but it had nothing to do with that. They could make a case against you. I mean, it becomes so much like a Kafka novel where you can't really fight this big spider that's just or octopus that's just taken over everything. So here are the names of some of the people that um, we respect that uh, voted on the, I think, the wrong side. Michelle Bachman is is one of them. Here's some of the others. Yeah, Daryl Issa. Uh, um, These are all good people. Yeah. uh, Culberson uh, was another one we were talking about uh, earlier today. Uh, Paul Paul. Ryan uh, was was on the wrong side of this one, I think. Uh, Steve King Mm. on the wrong side of it. How how did that happen, Louis? What are they saying behind the scenes? What was their reasoning? Well, the same. I mean, like when you talk about people like Michelle and Steve, they're two of my best friends. They they tell you behind the scenes what they tell you in front that uh, they were concerned that. Uh, uh, and I didn't realize actually I didn't realize Steve had had voted uh, against the Mushman yeah. amendment, but. But uh, it is this fear that that has been put in place. Gee, we're we're finding out who terrorists are by this information. But but Glenn, I, I have to go back to our debate over the the law. I wasn't there when the Patriot Act passed, and I wasn't there when FISA courts were created. They've been around for a long time, but I was there for the the renewal, the extension. And I battled tooth and nail with my own Republican chairman, who had put, he had actually put uh, uh, sunsets in the original Patriot Act so that, you know, we'd always have leverage to get information about what they were doing. And, And even under the Bush administration, 
getting information from the Justice Department was really tough. And that's how I ended up being able to convince a majority of the Republicans to put sunsets on something in the Patriot Act extension because the, the chairman had bought into the Bush administration position mm-hmm. that we don't need sunsets anymore. And so we debated this, and we got into the business about what is the purpose of having the, of them, their ability to surveil telephone calls and who you're calling, whether, whether it's uh, actually getting content or whether it's actually just getting what they call the metadata, who the logs of who you call. And what we were told in the testimony always to the effect that the only people who would have their phone information pulled were those who either made a call to a known foreign terrorist mm-hmm. or somebody who was affiliated with a known terrorist group uh, or they got a call from one of those people. In fact, Glenn, I made this statement at, at one of our uh, debates that, look, to my friends across the aisle that are so worried about the administration, you know, getting your phone records, under the bill it's very clear. If you don't want your phone records to be pulled, that data as to who you're calling, then when you call your foreign terrorist friends, use somebody else's phone. I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> and cute. A lot of people laughed. But they but, lied to you, did they not, but Louis? it turned out, no, it, it, you don't have to call a foreign terrorist. Right. You're getting your phone information. And and look, another thing that is really... Hey, hang on just a second. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on just a second. I want everybody coast to coast that is listening to understand that this man has so much credibility that Louis Gohmert, a congressman who believes in many of the same things I do, just went on national airwaves and said, look, the Bush administration lied to me. I was making the wrong case. I I was told one thing, and they lied to me about it, and the left was right about it, and I was wrong. That That's well, significant. The left was right about it, but... Uh, the Bush administration was actually arguing that they would not do anything more than what the law provided, and you had to have that nexus with a foreign terrorist or someone Which is associated not true. with a terrorist group. Right. And and so I don't know. I haven't seen information. I don't know if the Bush administration, uh, their NSA, was gathering every single person's uh, phone information. But, but it doesn't uh, matter. I'm not blaming it. Some of us talked about Look. that were back, back in those debates was, gee, I remember them saying, we do not have the capability to gather every single person's phone calls to everybody and they call. They do. But even if we did, we wouldn't do it, and this law does not authorize us to do that. And so you've got Republicans to vote for it. I was just talking to John Conyers here on the floor. I'm, I'm in our cloakroom just off the House floor because we just finished voting. And, uh, you know, I was saying, I gave you and Nadler and so on, you got so much grief. Uh, over your positions, uh, and son of a gun, you you were right, to, except it's your administration wow. that's pulling all this information that you thought the Bush administration would be doing. And, I don't think, you know what, I don't think something else, too, Glenn. Uh, I, I've talked with some Democrats the last two days who voted against the Amash Amendment, who I was surprised voted against it, because they were against giving the NSA any of this kind of power to start with. Mm. And they said, well, look, one of them said, well, let me just worry. Let me just show you what we got from our leadership in the Democratic Party, and that's why I voted no on the Amash Amendment. It says right here, very clearly, the law does not allow us currently to gather anybody's phone information unless... They have talked to some foreign terrorist or some so, member of a foreign so terrorist. Louis, and I said, well, that is true. That is what the law says, but they're not following the law. Can I ask they, you a question? They, what? So that, that's why some of the left who argued against or that said this kind of thing might happen voted against the Amash Amendment. They were given wrong information. So tell me this, Louis, then why is it, what, what are they storing in the Utah data storage facility? What is it they're storing? Are they crisping lettuce in that? <laughs> well, I don't I mean, know. It's, it's huge, isn't it? But, it's... Uh, and, and I don't know, um, and, and probably if I did, it would be classified, but I, I really don't know at all. But I know uh, apparently they're going to 
be gathering every yes. phone call that everyone has made, exactly. the logs for those things, and that is dangerous. But let me point out something else, Glenn, and, and, you know, we talked about our open borders, and I'm telling you, for the amount of liberty we have to give up to have security is in direct proportion to how open our borders are. The more open our borders are, then the more we have to give up liberty to have security. And uh, as you you quoted Franklin, you know, he said it doesn't give up safety for liberty don't deserve either one. That's but well, that's I'm I'm. We are. We need to secure our border. We need to kick out people that overstay visas. And uh, and I still contend we should do nothing on immigration except pass a resolution. Uh, Mr. President, you secure the border as confirmed by the border states, and then we'll take up a comprehensive bill, but not till then now. Back to Benghazi, back to the NSA spying, right. back to a total throwout of the Internal right. Revenue Code and revamping that system, back to the things that are 60 to 70 percent popular with the American people. All right, Louis, um, uh, Louis uh, Gohmert uh, from uh, Texas. Congressman, I appreciate it, and thank you so much. I'm running a little bit late, but God bless you, man, and keep up the fight.